Have you ever wondered how to achieve a sleek updo the easy way? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I installed this frontal as well as how I got this really thick, beautiful wig into this sleek ponytail baby. It's so elegant. And if I pull my wig up into a pretty tight ponytail without pulling it all the way up since I don't have lace in the back to like glue it down. I find this way easier to pull out my edges and then go back and add my hair in a ponytail. But if you want, you can just tie a scarf around it to try to keep it from from rising up so then I'm going back in with my hot comb since this is like a kinky straight wig to try to get it to lay a little flatter next time I think I probably will like just straighten the wig and then install it into like a ponytail to make it easier because girl this hair is so thick and it's so much hair if you want a really thick wig baby this one is for you i can only imagine how this hair looks straightened i know it's beautiful i know it will be so thick and full but the fact that i'm putting it into this ponytail and it's so thick you guys it is just crazy i love this wig i love the edges i love the thickness i love how full it is i love how long it is so y'all definitely click the link down below and go get this wig like right there i think i was just excited that i got in the rubber band because i tried to put in the rubber band prior to this and the rubber band popped so when i actually got that into a rubber band i was excited and when i go to add in the rest of the perimeter pieces i'm not even going to put a rubber band in it i'm only going to use hair pins because it's so thick so once i get everything out of the way and i have my main ponytail i will go back and add the perimeter into the ponytail and just taking that comb that comes in the back and make sure I push it up into my braids. And then I go in with hair pins to secure it all around to try to make it look more natural. And that's exactly what it did. Like mission accomplished because to me it looks it look real natural so plus i pulled out those little side pieces you know to cover up a few knots back there but yeah and then after that i go in the front to pull out my baby hair i love baby hair and for this wig to already have like pre-made edges and then the fact that they are longer and not just those little short nappy edges i love that even though this is like a kinky wig it is perfect so i'm going in with like some holding spray to hold everything back in the front since i just installed that with some hair pins instead of using a rubber band because girl this hair was thick so i cut me some layers in the front and then going through with my wand curl to get everything right and then i'm using my curlers in the front just so i can have like more volume instead of like some smaller baby curls using that wand curler and then just get my holding spray so that will stay and now i'm going to work on this ponytail so first i use these curlers but it's like my curls was just too big and not doing it so that's how i wore it the first day like kind of like a little messy bun and then that just wasn't it so i came back the next day and i started using like wand curls after i did my makeup and got everything right so i also added another rubber band right there to try to give me like some volume because I've seen a lot of girls do this hairstyle and I'm still kind of confused how they get their bun up so high. So that's how what I did is I used another rubber band to try to give it like some volume and then I just went in with my hair pins and added them until I was satisfied. And honey, I don't know if it was the makeup look, the orange, the dress, my lips, my face, my hair, the texture, the baby hair, what it was. But baby, I was in love with this style. It came together so good. It was so cute, so sleek, so elegant. And then to just know that this is like a regular frontal wig and it's not even a 360 unit and it looks amazing like it was like a sew-in or something. I was so in love with this. Y'all definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this look and how y'all like these edges. Because baby, y'all know I beat for it and it was popping tense for me. So definitely let me know what you think down below. And I love you guys. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. So just enjoy the rest of these looks because I have a lot. Because I was feeling myself and I couldn't get up out of this camera. I just couldn't. So yeah, I'll see y'all next time.